What's up and welcome to the Weekenders. This is the show where we talk about the biggest football games of the weekend. I'm Max, joined by Lexi and Bobby. And we have an abbreviated NFL show uh, coming up for you. Um, you know, this week is kind of crazy. We still don't know who's going to win the NFC East because the Cowboys and Eagles both lost. Um, and shout out to the Bills for continuing to um, prove Vegas right with some big wins over some tough opponents. Um, and who look at... And look no further than the Baltimore Ravens and Niners, who are both at the top of the NFC, and, NFC, and we get to see them play um, this weekend and perhaps a Super Bowl preview. Well, we're going to talk about um, all those games uh, right now. Um, NFL playoff picture is getting kind of kind of crazy. Um, we don't have really time to, to dive into it. Nothing really changed um, on either side, I think. Um, the Buccaneers sort of got themselves a little bit of wiggle room in the NFC South by beating the Packers. That was a really good work from them. Shout out to Baker Mayfield for getting the first <laughs> pass rating in Lambeau Field history for a visiting quarterback. That's insane. I love it. <laughs> I've loved him since he stabbed the flag into the Ohio Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> Give my boy some flowers, man. Ruin my love rivals. Love Ruin them. It was great. It was great. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, um, like I said, the Bills got a big win, but, um, you know, other teams like the Colts and the Bengals won as well, so they're still on the outside looking in. But, um, yeah, this playoff picture is still um, unclear um, as of right now. But let's get to the first game real quick. The Cowboys and Dolphins is a big one. Two 10-4 teams. The Dolphins still need to win to keep pace in the AFC East. Uh, because the Bills are starting to close in that gap. The Cowboys can win this game and still lose the NFC East, though, because um, – or I think that's – sorry, AFC East for the Dolphins. NFC East for the Cowboys, who can win this game and still lose, because right now the Eagles have a tiebreaker. So the Cowboys need to win this game, and they need the Eagles to lose as well. Um, the Dolphins are favored by one and a half, over under 50, one and a half. Uh, I'm taking the uh, Cowboys to win this game. I think the Cowboys, um, after that embarrassing loss, need a bounce back game. And the Cowboys um, are better at home, but this is a game in Miami where it's going to feel like a home game because you're, you know, in Miami, great temperature, not crazy weather conditions, they're going to feel comfortable. Um, now, I'm sure Miami fans will be out and be proud because the Dolphins are good and, you know, they're going to be there. But it's Miami. You're going to have a lot of Cowboy fans there as well. So I think because of that, I like the Cowboys to pull out the win, and this is going to be a really big game for them uh, in Miami. Yeah, I'm going to go with um, I'm going to go with the Finns. I'm going to go with the Dolphins here. I I know they've looked shaky. Tyreek Hill's status is in question, um, but look, I, I I don't know the the Cowboys' downfall. I think it's kind of starting to trickle in a little bit right now. Um, and you know, quite frankly, that Miami offense, when it's clicking, it is hard to stop. So I, I'm going to go with the dolphins. Yeah. So I, I tried to buy in on the Cowboys last week and look where that took me, you know? So I'm sitting here saying, Oh, that could be MVP and what a dud. But like, like Bobby said, it is, it's slowly trickling in of like what they do every single season. Um, I think that uh, I think the Dolphins are going to win this. You know, it's at home. You know, they've kind of slipped up a couple times this year. They're not going to let it happen. And in good fashion, the Cowboys fall short. So, give me the. So, um, oh, sorry. Did you finish that? No, oh, that's it. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Fun fact about this game. Uh, Dolphins are first in points per game, and the Cowboys are second. So two really good offenses. I think the difference will be who plays better defense because we know Dallas has a good defense, but they just gave up 31 to the Bill. So if you do that to the Dolphins, you're going to lose because the Dolphins can score in bunches. We know that. Um, all right, moving on to another Monday night game for the Ravens. Um, they're going to Santa Clara to take on the 49ers. Um, 
Could be a Super Bowl preview. We don't know. These are two really good teams um, squaring off. The Niners are favored by five and a half. Over to 46 and a half. Um, uh, uh, Lexi, why don't you go first with your pick for the game? Yeah. Um, man, you know, I love Lamar. I think the Ravens are an excellent team, but that San Fran is just locked in right now. That defense is something fierce. Um, the offense is kind of clicking on all cylinders and it's at home for them. So, uh, it's crunch time to make sure they get that good seating. And I think they're going to, they're going to walk away with this. I think it's going to be a very, very good game, but, uh, Niners take the win. Yeah. To me, it's like Lamar Jackson's greatness has propelled the Ravens to what they are right now. But the problem is the the, the Niners are just so comprehensively good across the board. Um, not only do they have a killer defense, but that offense has just been insane with what Christian McCaffrey is doing. He's on a tear like we've like I haven't seen in a, a good, good while. Um, so I think the Niners just they're just too much, too, too balanced, too comprehensive. And I think they're going to get a win here. Yeah, I'm thinking the Niners. I think the Ravens, uh, just with all the injuries they've suffered on offense, I think this this is a team where the Ravens you don't want to see because they're going to be able to um, put a lot of pressure on Lamar. And then offensively, they have so they have so many weapons, so many things that they can do. And the Ravens play really good defense. Um, they're they really they're really good at stopping the run, like. Um, this sounds kind of crazy, but if I was like a Christian McCaffrey fantasy owner and I was like in the playoff, you know, in the fantasy playoffs or fantasy championship, I'd be nervous because, um, you know, the Ravens are number one in the league in, in rush yards a game um, allowed. Or sorry, second in the, second in the, in, the, uh, in the NFL in yards allowed. So they don't allow a lot of yards on the ground. Or they have a really good defense. Um so this this is kind of a spot for the Niners where, you know, this could be a really defensive defensive game. And if you're the Niners, you want to get to a fast start and don't let uh, the Ravens be in be in reach of this one. But um, to me, I think the Niners just because I think the Ravens right now are just a little bit too depleted um, in terms of offensive talent. And yeah, I don't I don't really see how they win this game. So give me San Fran um, to win. <laughs> Um, all right, so those are the big games. Let's kind of get into the rapid fire picks. We do have um, some other pl- games of playoff implications on the schedule. There's a lot going on right now. Um, let's start with the Saints and the Rams. Uh, Rams crawling back into the playoff picture right now. There are there would be the seventh seed. Um, they'll face the Saints at home this weekend. The Saints are sort of still teetering in that sort of NFC South uh, discussion. They're still 7-7, seven and seven, tied with the, the Buccaneers. Um, so I'm taking the Rams. Uh, I feel like the Rams are just a better team all around. Stafford's getting into a groove, um, and I, I like the Rams here. Yeah, I, I'm right there with you. And I think uh, the storybook line of, like, Stafford coming to Detroit to play playoffs would be pretty, pretty epic. So I really wanted to see that happen, but yeah, Saints just aren't, I can't trust them right now. They're so up and down. Um, haven't really been, you said that teetering, like not very good and just kind of falling flat often. Um, and Rams seem like they're, they're locked in right now. You know, they need to get, they need to get to the postseason. So I'll take them. Yeah. I'm going to go with the Rams as well. I feel like they've been really pretty scrappy. Uh, this season, you know, they've had a couple, you know, Cooper Cup's been, you know, kind of on and off, but they feel like they're starting to hit their rhythm a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with the Rams as well. Okay. Um, next game is Bengals at Steelers. Again, two teams fighting uh, for playoff spots. The uh, Bengals will be in the sixth spot if the playoff started today. Pittsburgh seven and seven, um, kind of falling out of that 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 uh, chance. You know now with the injuries they've had, Mr. Trubisky playing quarterback, it seems like they're on the downturn. But still a, a division game, tough game for the Bengals to go into Pittsburgh because they still need to 
continue to win if they want to see the playoffs. Um, I like the. I, I want to pick the Bengals, but and and they definitely impressed me to get that uh, comeback win against the uh, Vikings. Um, but I'm taking the Steelers, man. Just at home, the Steelers are still fighting for something. Um, they can play really good defense, keep the score low, keep the ball out of Jamar Chase's hands. Give me Pittsburgh. Is Jamar Chase um, hurt still? I know that I saw that he got hurt last game and was quite Oh, true. So, yeah. So that's going to be a huge, huge thing. I think that kind of you – know, you can rely on T. Higgins, who's an incredible – I mean, that catch last week, wow, or this past weekend, incredible. But, yeah, you lose Jamar Chase and, you know, not having Joe Burrow, what can you really expect? I mean, I'm not saying the Steelers are anything to write home about because they – They've been another team that's just kind of been um, a dud this season, but it's at home, still something to play for. So Tomlin's going to make sure they get it done. I got the Steelers. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm with you. The Steelers or wait, well, this is tricky because Tomlin to me, like he, he's been, he's done, a, he's done a decent job of keeping things afloat. And, but last week was just so bad. Uh, I just, they, they fizzled out so hard, fell so fast. I don't know if I'm a believer in the Trubisky version of the Steelers right now. I, I don't know. This feels like a boat where there's just a bunch of holes in the bottom of it and it's just slowly sinking. So we're we're gonna go with the uh, we're gonna go with Browning on the road uh, to 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 scrap out a pretty tough win at uh, the stadium formerly known as Heinz Field. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, next game: Lions Vikings again. Playoff implications. The Vikings are still trying to clinch the NFC North. They're one win closer. Um, got a big win over the Broncos, which I think we kind of predicted that that, that the Lions would kind of bounce back. But um, got that bounce back win, and now you have to face your rival to, you know, clinch that NFC North and keep them out of the playoffs, possibly one of their chances. Uh, I'm taking the Lions to win this game, uh, you know, Coming off a big win, they just have to keep it going and not get caught up in the moment. But I think, you know, I, I'm not going to put my trust in whoever the hell the quarterback is for the Niners now. I mean, the Vikings now. <laughs> um, in Case Keenum, whoever, whoever it is, I don't know. Um, Mullins. You know, Nate, Nate Mullins, yeah. Lions, all the way. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm taking the Lions here. This is to clinch <laughs> the North. You know, we should have beat – the Vikings both times last year when their team was in way better condition with Kirk Cousins kind of like winning those games. So um, like you said, Mullins, I don't care. I don't care who was playing. This team's locked in. They're also doing a whiteout at, at, at Minnesota, which means we get to play in our blueberries, which means we're going to win because they do so great in those. So bad decision on Minnesota. Um, Lions clinch it on Christmas Eve. Yeah, the 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 Lions also travel really really well, so that's just going to make the blue pop. What are they thinking? I like, know. It, <laughs> like at least with purple and blue, like it, the the Honolulu blue is like bright enough to shine through purple, but like at least it's a little muddled. Horrible decision there. Uh, Lions get a big win, though. Um, you know, it's a rivalry. I uh, again, are we, it, it, what I do? Do I really want to trust? What, what is it? Nick Nate Mullins, whatever his <laughs> name is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know whichever Mullins. Uh, I, I, I don't even. I don't even want to learn the guy's first name. So anyway, <laughs> uh, Jags Bucks uh, Bucks. When we're closer to the NFC South, as you mentioned earlier, Baker Mayfield had a great game in uh, Lambeau. Now they got to do do it again against the Jaguars team, who's also trying to win their division. Um, got a tough loss. Um, coming off of uh, this past week against the Ravens. Um, they're trying to fight off the Texans um, in the um, in the in the AFC South. Um, and I believe the Colts as well. So I mean the Jaguars got a lot of work to do. Um, I, I, I like the Jaguars to, to, to bounce back. Um, but Trevor has to play like a perfect game. Like Trevor's gonna have to have the game that Baker Mayfield had last week in order to win that game. The Buccaneers are, are tough, but I, I think the Jaguars just kind of need this more, to be honest with you. Um, the Buccaneers know they have the smoke room because NFC South is terrible, but the Jags are going to be hungry for the, Buc the Buccaneers and 
you know, obviously it's an AFC versus NFC tilt, but the Jaguars got a short what drive to Tampa, you know, to to, to play those games. So not not really a we're not really even a road game, you know, so I, I like the Jags. Yeah, so I'm I I can't tell if it's gonna be like another game where Baker's gonna come out and be great. Sometimes he can be super inconsistent um with things, but I like him at home, you know. He he comes off of, of being confident from how he performed in Lambo and, and it kind of trickles into this game. I know that Jacksonville's got some more to play for, but you know, that it's not a team that I trust to get a win like this on the road, um, especially against Tampa Bay. So Give me Baker and the Bucks at home. I here's the thing. I love what Maxwell said. I think it's pretty spot on. The Jaguars need this a little bit, like a lot more than the Bucks do, because of you know the NFC the NFC South just being garbage. But I can't fade Baker after that performance at Lambeau. I faded him last week, and he proved me completely wrong. So we're gonna ride with the hot hand and uh, go with the Bucks to win at home. Keep the momentum and the vibes going. All right. And the last rapid fire pick, again, playoff implications. Um, and this one is the Browns and Texans. The Browns sitting pretty at the fifth seed in the uh, AFC. The Browns and Chiefs have the same record. They're both nine and five. That's kind of crazy to say out loud. <laughs> but, but it is what it is. The Browns are a good team this year. They're playing great defense, and they got to face a – um, a very hungry Texans team with a rookie quarterback that is, you know, again, trying to – I don't know if CJ Stroud will be healthy or not. I don't have the report in front of me. But, you know, if he's healthy, Texans still trying to make the playoffs and make some noise. Uh, Demico Ryan still trying to win that coach of the year bid. So, um, this is going to be a tough game. I'm taking – I'm putting my trust in Cleveland, though. Defense, they, you know, young team, an experienced coach, Stefanski, give me the Browns. Give me the dog pound. Woo! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, I, I saw that CJ Stroud is like still in concussion protocol. So I feel like they're just going to be playing it safe with him. You know, they're not going to be going on some crazy run this year, but um, it's not to count them out. Um, but the Browns are just going to be those dogs. It's going to be the dog pound for sure. So I'll take them. <laughs> In a weird alternate universe, this is Deshaun Watson returning to Houston again. Uh, but it's not. And I think more than any, I, I think I, I'm just saying uh, I'm, I'm going to go with CJ Stroud and the Texans to scrap out another win. Incredible performance last, uh, last week to, uh, you know, come from behind, get a just gritty, gritty, gritty win. The team just keeps finding ways to figure it out. So we're going to go with the Texans at home. Fun stat. If the Browns win this game and the Ravens lose, which both outcomes are very possible, They'll be one game apart for the AFC North um, race. So completely. That's crazy. <laughs> completely crazy. insane stuff. This, this is definitely not over. Um, all right. Lock of the week. Um, this one will put will count towards our scoreboard. We all lost last week. Uh, tough break. So nobody's points move up or down. But we're capping on the scoreboard. Lexi's still in the lead at 18. Bobby right behind at 16. I'm at 13. Um, and, yeah, we had last week tough uh, Bobby lost the Eagles minus four on a 90 yard drive by Drew Lock in the Seahawks. Uh, uh, the Jags Ravens game did not go over, and the Eagles Seahawks game also did not go over. So, tough break for us, but we're going to bounce back this week. I'm taking the Cowboys to win this game. We're just going to keep it simple. Going to go with my gut here. The Dolphins have not have gotten their record by beating up against a lot of bad teams, but they've lost against good teams. Um, the Chiefs, the Eagles, the Bills earlier this year. Um, you know, they all the teams, you look at their schedule, all the teams they've beaten this year are pretty much bad to mediocre. So I'm taking the Cowboys to to go into Miami. Again, outdoor, comfortable, nice weather. Probably going to be a lot of Cowboys fans in the stands. They're going to bounce back after an embarrassing loss and get the win in Miami. That's my lock. I'm going to go ahead and lock the 49ers. Um, I feel like they've just been on such a hot streak right now. And honestly, you know, Lamar Jackson, as good as he is, 
I feel like he is he has had letdown moments where he just doesn't look that great. And I feel like the team teams like the 49ers are the ones that can completely put him into a pretzel. Uh, and I think that's unfortunately what happens here. Uh, Cause I like Lamar a lot. Um, I'm going to go with the, the Niners to win. So I'm going to take the Cowboys dolphins over. Um, I think it's, you know, both of their offenses, the way they've been playing this year, 51 and a half seems awfully low. So um, give me that over for my lock. All right. So those are our locks. We'll definitely see how we, we definitely see how those shake up on the next show. Uh, but for multiple city media and the weekenders, it's been Max, Lexi, Bobby. Enjoy this weekend of football, and we will see you next time right here on the weekenders. Peace.